Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my first installation thingamajig since I got Windows 7. Uh, I figured I'd do this because a hell of a lot of people have been requesting it, and the first time that you install a mod is, can be a bit uh, daunting for some people. Okay, before I start all this, underneath the video in the description is going to be every single link and a detailed step-by-step -step guide of what I'm doing when you're watching it, so you can follow that and get links to every single website that I visit during this. Okay. First thing that you want to do is go to 7-zip, which simply type 7-zip ZIP into Google and it will come up with the first link, which will be this. Once again, there will be, will be a link in the description, so you just click on that. Download whatever link is for your bit size Windows computer. You can find that through your professions and uh, preferences through the computer thingamajig and your control settings. Uh, it's easy enough to find, I won't show you that. After you've downloaded that, just simply follow the installation steps that, uh, steps, steps that come up on your computer. Once that's done, you want to go to this site here, which is the mods website itself on the forums. Once again, link in the description. You can easily get here. Uh, you want to go, you want to scroll down from the top, which is here. Get to the download part. Click on this. You want to install this onto your file. Uh, it will be your RAT file. I've already downloaded this, so I won't need to show it to you which will be in here. It will be on your computer. In there. And you want to go to Downloads. It will be in the same general area on XP, Vista, 7. It will be around my documents. It's pretty much wherever you download something from the internet, it goes there, so it's easy enough to find. Click on that. The file that you want will be called King of Rivers and Hills RAW file. And now, when you go on this, right-click, go to 7-zip, which you just installed, Extract here. And now you've got to wait for this to go, which shouldn't take too long, hopefully. Uh, in a minute, I will show you a little thing, because uh, this mod will not work unless you've patched your kingdoms to uh, the highest patch, which I believe is 1.5 for kingdoms. And if you've got the gold edition, then it's already 1.3. But... I'll show you a list of where you can get all the download links, and once again, it will all be underneath the video in the description. Every single link will be under the video. I'm going to spend like half an hour doing the description under this, so... If you want extra detail, it will be in there. Yeah, I'm just buying time for when this finally does this. <laughs> do 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 Alright. Now, while we're waiting for this, um, I'll show you guys what we have to do here. This is where you can patch your medieval to the right thing. You've got uh, EU, all that kind of stuff, depending on where you are and whether or not you've got the gold uh, version of the thing here. Because if you do gold, if you have the gold, which includes the Kingdoms expansions, then you already have version 1.3. But you need to install the 1.5, otherwise the mod is probably not going to work. Or you might be lucky, get it to work, and it probably will just have loads of problems with it. So just click on that, um, and then I think you need to... Yeah, it will be a raw file, and then you need to extract that file, like you're doing with the thing now in the background, which is on 82%. You need to extract that file, and then find the uh, exe file, which is the runtime and everything, and that will run the setup, and then that will automatically update the files in your medieval. So that's really important, you have to patch it, otherwise the mod is probably not going to work. All that links will be available underneath the thing. Right. After you've, after, you've, uh, after you've extracted it in here, you'll see the King Rivers and Hills thing, which is now an actual file. It will just look like that inside. Don't bother with this. Right, that's that for now, just keep that windows open. Uh, you want to go to your computer, your hard drive, and then you want to go to your program files. Uh, I got two of them, but don't worry, that's a backup, just ignore that. Go to your program files, you should only have one. Go to Sega. And what you can see here is I've got two Medieval Total Wars. I've got my original one, which is my default, and the one that I've copied just a minute ago. When I download mods, I tend to do them separately, instead of all at once because it just can't... This is the Riven Hills that I've already got on my computer that I've been recording with and playing with for ages. But for the purposes of this, I've already installed, but uh, copied it. All you have to do to do this, and I do recommend doing it if you've got the memory space, you don't have to, but I recommend it. 
just right click on Medieval Total War, copy, and then paste. Wait for it to do it. It, it may take a while, but it shouldn't take too long. And once you've done that, it will have a Medieval 2 copy. You can rename it to anything you like. Uh, I recommend naming it properly so you know which one it is. Uh, all right. Then you click on the Medieval 2 copy, go to your mods, and it will come up like this. Just let's move this to the side for a second. You've got this, and now you want to move this King Rivers and Hills mod, drag it across the screen, over to here, and move to mods. Allow it, whatever the fuck thing says. You move it from one place to the other. Just press yes, yes, yes. And then you have the King of Rivers and Hills mod here. Now, you can close this thing in your downloads. You don't need that open anymore. Now, when you're on here, click on King of Rivers and Hills. You want to find this COG file right here. It'll have a little picture of two COGs and a Windows batch file. It'll be about 1 KB. Don't click on the icon thing. That's just a picture. Ignore that. What we want is this. Just right click. Uh, send to desktop, create shortcut. You can get rid of that now. And then what we need to do is double click on that and then it should run perfectly. Once you've done that, that's pretty much it guys. You've got it installed into your computer. Uh, if you have any problems, feel free to say so in the comments. I'm more than ha uh, happy to help you guys out. There will be a detailed inst installation and in everything that I've said, covering everything that I've done and a bit more in detail into it. Right underneath the video in the description, along with links to every single site that I went to and everywhere that you need and step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this. It may seem rather daunting if you've never done a mod before, but trust me, once you've done it once, you do it with your eyes closed. It's just so, so easy and simple. Okay, guys. I hope this wasn't too much of a mouthful for you guys, and once again, if you need any help with it, just feel free to ask. Anyway, that's all for now guys. For once in my videos, there will not be an annotation on the top right hand side, and I will see you guys in different videos. That's all for now. Soul out.